Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my press conference. Any questions? I'm Dick from the Daily Mail and uh, you are playing Sunderland in your next match. The Sunderland fans would love to know your honest opinion about their manager, Sam Allardyce. Sam Allardyce? Oh wow, what a question. He calls himself Big Sam. He said once that if his name was to be Sam Allardici, he could be the manager of Real Madrid. That's how deluded and that's how out of his mind Sam Allardyce is. I mean, can, can you imagine Sam Allardyce lying in bed late at night thinking about managing Real Madrid, managing the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale, Karim Benzema? I'm sure it's Sam Allardyce's wet dream, but really, Aladici, if he wasn't English, he would be the manager of Real Madrid. He seriously believes that. Okay, <laughs> whatever floats your boat, Big Sam. <laughs> Let's see how good Sam Allardyce is when he comes up against one of the best teams in Europe. My team, Liverpool. Let's see how he can handle us. Not even his big head can get in our way. We will go to Sunderland and we will win there. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this press conference. Enjoy the games. What is up guys? It's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Mode Show. Guys, if you want to see daily uploads in this series, smash the like button. There is no face cam for this episode because I wanted to make a really really long episode with a lot of games and a lot of highlights this is the 150th special episode i want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who keep supporting and watching this series and i want to keep this series going up until fifa 17 comes out but of course i will do a lot of other career modes until then and we are playing Sam Allardyce's Sunderland. Did you enjoy the press conference? I hope you found it funny. I tried my hardest to make it as entertaining as possible. And loads of you guys said that I should try out different formations. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So I will play with this formation, loads of you guys have recommended this formation to me, it's the 4 2 3 one. I also wanted to show you my player instructions, so Dybala will stay central, he has balanced the stack, so sometimes he comes back, sometimes he runs in behind, and both Quincy will stay forward and he, they will get into the box for crossing and they are all three guys are on free roam which means that it's a very fluid attack behind the Dybala and uh, Teixeira is on balanced attack but Henderson I want him to stay back and of course both the fullbacks are instructed to always overlap so that way we can create uh, you know a lot of 3 on 2 or 2 on 1 situations on the wings and uh, finally, let me show you my custom tactics. I worked a lot on these custom tactics and these are the custom tactics that I use. So if you want to copy it, feel free. I have the defense pressure on one, which means that my defense will never get counter-attacked because they don't leave any space behind. They always sit back. And of course, the pressure is on quite high. So that means that we are we are still high pressing the opposition but the only the defensive line is very deep look at this Sunderland are the lowest scoring team in the Premier League what are you doing Sam Allardyce and Sunderland beautiful no Shula big block I lost the ball in the box oh go on oh that's a great ball Oh, Dybala all the way, son! Oh, he's done it! Oh, Paolo Dybala! Fantastic goal! I think Royce gets injured because look, look on the top of your screen. Royce is holding his shoulder and walking off. But Dybala smashes it home. Come on, that's a great cross! Oh, Pantelemon, go away! What a save, son! Come on, Firmino, blast it! Oh my... What? How on earth did he save that? That was going into top bins. Look at that save! Origi? Oh, I mean... Teixeira! Bang one! <laughs> oh, 
Alex Teixeira, Golasso, Captain Son. This is brilliant. Oh, look at the passing. Oh, go on, Robertson. Smash it first time. Oh, what a play that was. Oh, cover the middle. Oh, my, what a goal. Fletcher makes it 2 1, and they are back in it. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh yes. I almost gifted Sunderland the equalizer there. Big win, we have beaten Sam Allardyce and Dybala is on a goal scoring run. I love it. And I think we deserve this win. We had seven shots all on target. I realized that Nunez is actually our, one of our fastest players at the club. So I decided to start training him because Daniel Hurd is almost at 80 rating wise. So I think Nunez, if we can train his finishing and his, uh, his ball control and dribbling, then he can be one of the best players at our club in two or three seasons. And now let's go to the Standard Liege game. We already collected three points in the Champions League, but we want to keep that run going. And I'm rotating basically the whole team. And I'm also trying out a new formation for you guys, for hopefully your enjoyment. I want to freshen up the series and the gameplay, so hopefully trying out different formations will uh, work for you guys. And hopefully you will be able to enjoy it more. And I'm trying out the false nine formation with a completely different lineup as you can see and I always I will show you the player instructions when I use a new formation so Jordan I will stay forward he will cut inside and he will get in behind just like Origi then Ings will say stay central and I put him on a balanced attack so sometimes he will come short sometimes he will run in behind Daniel Erd and Shovumi will get forward and will get into the box and Emre Chan will just stay back and help the defense and Gomez and Flanagan will always overlap. No! Oh! Oh, they hit the bar! Come on, Ibe. Come on! Oh, what a goal! And it's Matip, the center back! Oh, oh, oh! The driven pass in the box is so effective! Ibe with the driven pass and Matip generates incredible power and incredible accuracy for a center back. Oh no, Gomez gets injured. Unlucky. Damn, Gomez. That is unfortunate. Nice. What? How did he steal that ball like that? No, no. Oh, I'm done. Oh, wow. What a goal. Unbelievable. I lost the ball very close to my goal and I got completely outplayed there. Brilliant passing move to be honest and Botland can't do much about that. Oh come on! Oh, they I'm done. What? <laughs> no penalty? No! Oh my word. Please, tell me you're on side Origi. Tell me you're onside! What is that? Oh, it's blocked! I always struggle with this second team, but this is the challenge that we wanted. Because Daniel Hurd and Shovumi in the midfield, you are, they are not the strongest players. I still should have won this game because I had 6 shots all on target. We are still top of the Champions League group, but now Real Madrid are level on points with us and it will be a big race between us who wins this group. And also, not the best news that Joe Gomez has suffered a sprained knee injury and he will be out for four weeks. And I think I will recall uh, somebody from loan who is a, a fullback. Let's see, do we... I think we have... Uh, we have Dominic Lane. Oh, he's, out, he's loaned out for one year, so... I'm not sure if I will... You know what? I will recall this guy. David Hartley, I always wanted to try him out and now he will be our fullback for the second team. It doesn't cost a lot to recall him, so now we, he will be available for selection. He's not the fastest player, but he's a, he has some very, very good defensive stats. And now let's play Crystal Palace and again I'm trying out a, 
another formation this time it's the 4-3-1-2 formation we have Quincy behind Dybala and Royce Teixeira Henderson and Isco in midfield so a very attacking midfield oh oh the whole what an attack and Royce surely Quincy it's fine <laughs> we are already 1-0 up that was the easiest goal to be honest for Quincy but this quick passing was magnificent. First time Royce should score, but Quincy doesn't miss from there. Come on. Come on, Isco. Bang it! What a save. Wow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Zaha! Oh, calm down, bro. What is this guy on? That's a great goal, to be honest. What? Oh, there's taken again. No. Oh, Moreno, please. No, no. Oh, wow. Klein almost had it. It's his own goal. No, 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 no. Don't. Ah, Quincy, our, one of our favorite players gets injured. Damn it. I hope he's not out for a long time. Oh, no. Oh, where, are, where, are, where is he going? No! Are you kidding me? That is a small player, how does he outhead Varan? And we are 2-1 down. This is horrific. Ah, oh, look at that. I was covering him. How does he out... What are you doing, Varan? It's just bow watching. Come on, Royce. Come on, Royce. Wow, straight at the keeper. That was our last chance, I think. This is a really bitter pill to swallow after going 1-0 up so early. Crystal Palace played really well, fair play to them. It was a very even game and I just didn't really like this formation. It was a little bit too narrow, obviously. So I don't think I will play with this formation a lot. Oh no, Manchester United won again. They won 7 out of the first 8 games. And we are in trouble guys, we are already 9 points behind them. We lost 3 of the first 8 games, this is not a very good start to the season. But it will be a big challenge to come back from this and hopefully put a winning run together. The title defense doesn't look good at the moment, but I still hope that you guys enjoyed this really long episode of Liverpool Carrier Mode. If you want to see more, smash the like button, thanks for watching guys, stay awesome. See you later. Goodbye.